Thank you for tuning in tonight. This is the 897th broadcast. <clears throat> I've done a couple on YouTube earlier singing, so the broadcast immediately following this will be the 900th broadcast. And I do want to thank each and every one for listening as much as you have. Uh, today, this is the first, the five first. <clears throat> As this being part of the new year, we are right at the beginning. It feels right to make some changes. Genesis in the book is the book of the beginnings. Nearly everything that we know about mankind began in the book of Genesis. <clears throat> the beginning of man, the beginning of time, the beginning, the beginning of organic growth. In Genesis 2 we see the beginning of woman. And chapter 4 is the beginning of worship and also of death. As we proceed through the book, we see nations, governments, and kingdoms. We see another new beginning after the flood. In this book, we find the beginning of slavery, of jealousy, of idol worship, and so much more. But there are five very important things that happen in Genesis chapter 3. One, the first mention of Satan evil one Genesis 3 5 1 through 5 what can we learn about him from his first mention in Genesis he is subtle verses 1 means cunning usually in a bad sense crafty prudent and subtle he is the author of doubt verses 1 yea hath God said he is the chief of all liars verse 4 he shall not not surely die he is the enemy of God. He is a ruler of a powerful kingdom, standing in opposition in the kingdom of God. We try to teach our children something that they never, that they never more like, that they never more like Satan than they were when, then they when they lie and when they rebel. He is a father of all lies. John eight forty eight. And he invented the sin of rebellion, which is the sin of witchcraft, 1 Samuel 15:23. Ask a couple of folks to illustrate something with you today. An interview with Satan. This is like a late night talk show while written from an entertaining viewpoint. The message is serious as it gets. Satan is a liar. And if scripture will help Satan's cause, he will use scripture. Notice how he twists this passage. Genesis 2 and 7. But of the tree of knowledge and of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou eateth, thou shalt surely die. Satan twists the truth in Genesis 3 and 5. He says, And he shall be as God's. That is not what the scripture says. For now Satan attempts to overthrow God, but we end up in the lake of fire. Revelations 20 and 10 says, And the devil that deceived them were cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and they shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. 2. <clears throat> the first mention of sin. Their eyes was open. But they did not become as gods, however, they saw their nakedness. Adam and Eve lived a thousand years of B.C. before clothing. They had been naked all along. But they were not knowledgeable what being naked meant. Look at verse 9 and 11. God is saying to them, Who told you that you was naked? Where did you learn about nakedness? Sin is attractive. Verse 6. Pleasant to the eyes. Don't be deceived by sin. It will lure you. It will stray you. It will blind you. And it will cause you to fail. Sin is pleasurable. Hebrews, 1, uh, Hebrews 11 and 25. The pleasure of sin for a season. Sin destroys. Sin is a cancer that destroys the soul of man. James 1 and 5. Then when lust hath conceived, 
it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. If you are involved in the practice of sin, you are on a road to death.